last tutorial. Okay, um, I'm just gonna freeze it here because I didn't leave enough time to do an intro. <laughs> so uh, this video was highly requested uh, on my Instagram pretty much ever since I did my Klaus makeup test. So I filmed this a long time ago while we were filming our Who's Watching Klaus music video, but I'm only getting around to editing it now. Sorry if it's super delayed. I uh, hope you enjoyed anyway. And if you love Klaus as much as I do and you wanted to cosplay him, then keep watching and I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup for him. Okay, so to start, I'm just putting on my foundation. It's my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow foundation. And I'm just using a beauty blender to apply it all over my face. Okay, so now I'm just taking my concealer, the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. I have since run out and I'm very upset about it, but it's a really good concealer. <laughs> Then I'm taking my Aladdin bronzer from MAC, your wish is my command, it's called, and I'm just bronzing up my face, like on my cheeks and on my forehead. I mean, I have been in the war, like, come on. Then I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light eyeshadow palette using that darkish brown to go on the outer corners of the eye and in the crease. And this is pretty much going to be my transition shade because I'm going to be putting black all over the lid. using that lighter brown to go on the inner corner of the eye, up to my brow. And then I'm grabbing the black color and just putting it all over my lid with my fingertip. And the goal here isn't to try to be as neat as possible, so I'm actually purposely trying to do it pretty messily if that's even a word. <laughs> and then using uh, that dark brown also again underneath the eye. And then I'm putting just a dab of black underneath my eye on the outer corner. So then I'm grabbing my Naked 2 Basics palette and using that cool light brown to contour my nose a bit. Then I'm using a brush to just uh, add a bit more black on the outer corner, smudging it all out. Then I'm using a blush color from my Tarte Hamptons Weekender palette. Uh, to go on the inner corner of the eye there to make myself look more tired. So now I'm going to start on the brows and I'm just wetting my angled brush with some water and using that super dark brown, almost black uh, color and just creating a lot of hairs and making my eyebrows thicker. Especially at the arch there and uh, at the inner corner too. I don't want it to look too precise and clean, so I'm just making a lot of hairs, especially on the ends, to mimic uh, his thick eyebrows.
I also noticed that his eyebrows are a little bit patchy, like they're not perfect, they don't look like perfectly filled in or anything, so um, I'm leaving them a bit patchy in some areas. Then I'm using just a regular black liner to line the lash line, as well as the lower lash line. Adding a bit more of that medium brown from the eye up to the brow. Putting a bit more of the pink here to make myself look more tired. All right, so let's get started on the facial hair. As you can see, this stresses me out a lot. <laughs> So these are the two products that I use for my facial hair. It's the Graftobian Spirit Gum and the Ruby's uh, Lace Facial Hair. It's actually real human hair. My sister gave these to me and I modified them to look like Klaus. So I basically cut them a lot. I think they work pretty well. So let's get started on the Spirit Gum. So I'm putting it along my mustache on one side because I have the mustache split into two pieces. Um, a tip for Spirit Gum though, which I didn't know here yet, but uh, you're supposed to tap it to create like a tackiness, but um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't do that, so. It sticks a lot better if you tap it first. Oh, look how beautiful I look. <laughs> okay, other side. <laughs> Here's where you would tap it. And then you put on your facial hair. And I'm just uh, sticking it down with a spoolie brush uh, so that it's not like flat to my face. Karm taught me this trick. So uh, you're supposed to like, Stick it down but then like use the spoolie to kind of fluff up the hairs a bit just so it doesn't look so perfect okay and then i'm putting my chin one on and sticking it to my face And then I'm using the same eyebrow color that I used and the same technique to create little hairs like along the edges of the lace beard just so that it doesn't look so clean cut. I'm just trying to add a bit there so it looks more realistic. And I'm doing the same thing on the edge of the mustache. So then I'm taking that contour color and going in my cheekbones, trying to go in the shape of a square. So going in my cheekbone and then going straight down. And this basically helps your jaw look a bit more masculine if you're a woman like me. <laughs> and then um, bringing it underneath the jawline as well. Then taking a bronzing color and just bronzing up my cheeks again. Then I'm making tiny little adjustments to my features using this contour color. So first starting on the edge of the lips and then underneath the chin and then on my nostrils. So just making the nostrils a tiny bit bigger like his. And then I'm going in with my Milani Make It Dewy setting spray to make my face look super sweaty. And that's it! That's it for the makeup! So here are a few clips of me in the complete cosplay for our music video Who's Watching Klaus? Which if you haven't watched that yet, I'll leave a link here in the video as well as in the description box. Please check it out if you can, it was so much fun to make. 
And that's it for the makeup tutorial. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.